So today we're taking a step back into history, trying to recreate one of the Harlequin's oldest team photos. So off goes the snapback, and on comes the bowler as we're taking the grey and white, the black and white picture of there, and adding the Harlequin's colours. So we've got the likes of Jamie Roberts, Danny Kerr, Nick Evans, Luke Wallace, Jack Clifford, Marlon Yard, all taking a step back into history. And this is the shirt, this is the 150th anniversary shirt. As you can see, we've got some extra details onto it. So we've got the collar, something which hasn't been there for a long while, taking it right back. Got a gold badge, hopefully representing the golden era for Harlequins. At the top here, Nuncombe Dormio will never sleep. Harlequins' motto in 150 years. So some beautiful detail. Got some stitching here as well, which represents an old school jersey as well. But what Adidas have fantastically done, they fused the history but keeping it perfectly technical and performance driven. So you've got all the details so that lads are able to go out there and play their very best, whilst obviously doffing their cap and acknowledging all of the great history at the club. So Marlon, what do you think of the kit? It was good, obviously it's uh, pretty old fashioned as well. A bit different to what we've ever had over the last few years. Um, I actually really like it, obviously the new badge as well, so we're really looking forward to getting out there. So we saw a picture earlier of the pitch 1800s. Yeah. That's a little bit smaller back in those days, right? Yeah, probably uh, didn't have as much protein, and you know it was probably more of a more of a social game rather than what it is now. But yeah, the, uh, some of the lads didn't look too big in, the, in those uh, in those in those photos. You've got Snapper and Marchin trying to cross their legs, sat down. Clearly, need to do a little bit more Pilates. They look like they're really struggling. Yeah, well, Snapper probably fits into that sort of like old school category. So he's a bit <laughs> stiff now that he's 35, mate. So it takes him uh, a while to get down. Um, it would look to see that you've come in fancy dress today, but mate, talk us through the tash there and the, and the headwear today. This is actually uh, inspiring me to grow a bit more of a moustache. I <laughs> don't know how Sal's going to like that, but um, yeah. this, is, this could be the way forward for me. But um, oh, it's brilliant. Like, this is great. You know, I've been involved in a club that's had so much history before, and um, the 150th is a big, obviously a big deal for us as a club and, and players and everyone involved with the uh, with the club. It's brilliant. It's great. I think the jersey's wonderful, and it's great to kind of play with these things and, uh, and have a bit of fun with it. It's obviously the performance side of it. It's nice. It's well fitted. You look good in it, Oogs. Obviously, it's uh, a key look good, factor. Play good. But obviously, uh, you've got the traditional side of it as well. So they've, missed, they've matched both, which as players you can't ask for. It's the best shirt in the league, and we're going to be looking smart next year. Mate, it's always an honour to play for this club. Yeah, of Steeped in yeah. huge amount of history, but it must be extra special knowing it's 150 year anniversary next season. Yeah, it's a massive year for the club, and hopefully, you know, we can get the ground running and, you know, do the club proud in the 150th year anniversary.